Hi, it's Becky from The Brass Teacher and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you find this video super helpful and if you do, I'd really love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to pick up your French horn safely and how to protect it from getting scratched and dented. So whether you're in your lessons, practicing at home, or in your school training band, you're going to be putting your horn down at some point. So what's the best way to do it? So the best place to put your horn is in its case. And this is because it's padded and it's molded to your horn. So it's gonna keep it safe, keep it protected from getting scuffed or stood on. You can also put it on a horn stand, which is a really good way of keeping your horn visible at all times, which might help you remember to practice more often. I'd recommend getting one that's foldable, so then you can take it to your lessons and band without it taking up too much room. But Becky, I don't have room for my horn case in band. I hear you, don't worry. So if you can't put it in your case, the next best thing is to make sure you're putting it on a flat surface. So not a chair that's got dips in it, because that's definitely gonna fall off. If you're putting it on the floor, it's a good idea to put down a towel or a cloth, which will protect the horn from getting scratched. So my most important tip when you're putting your horn down on the floor or on a chair, is that you put the valves facing upwards. So they're not on the bottom of the horn next to the ground where they could get scratched. It's also not a good idea to rest your horn on the valves as it means they would be bent for the whole time that they're on the floor. And if someone was to step on your horn, then the valves would definitely be bent and you really don't want to have to get your valves fixed. So why don't I want to dent my horn? Isn't it just cosmetic damage? Good question. So if the dent is quite large and it's on one of your slides, it can actually alter the sound. By restricting the amount of air that can get through that slide, this will make your sound less full and not as good as before. So actually it's something that you really want to avoid doing. So now we know where not to put your horn. So what's the best way to pick it up? Something that a lot of learners don't know is that if you pick up the horn like this, the slides can move easily which means the horn would slip away from you and cause an expensive accident. So to avoid this, make sure you follow these tips. So when you pick up your horn, you want to take your left hand and put it around the valve pipe here. So make sure you've had a couple of Weetabix this morning because you want it to be a nice strong grip. At the same time, you're gonna to want to put your right hand on the bell like this. So you've got your palm flat on the top of the bell, supporting it with both hands. So the main take home tips from this lesson are always store and rest your horn in its case. If you're resting your horn on the floor, put a towel or a soft cloth to protect it from scratching. Always put your horn with your valves facing up. Never pick up your horn using one of the slides. So thank you for watching this Brass Teacher video today. I hope you found it super helpful and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Whether you're a beginner or looking to improve your technique, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my horn lessons. Wake up today, what shall we do? Let's sing along, we'll sing a song.